I like how you call homosexuality an abomination. I'm interested in selling my youngest daughter into slavery, as sanctioned in Exodus 21.7. What would a good price for her be? My chief of staff, Leo McGarry, insists on working on the Sabbath. Exodus 35.2 clearly says he should be put to death. Touching the skin of a dead pig makes one unclean. Leviticus 11.7. Can the Washington Redskins still play football? Does the whole town really have to be together to stone my brother John for planting different crops side by side? Can I burn my mother in a small family gathering for wearing garments made from two different threads? Oh, my faithful heart knows better than to get a Bible lesson from a fake president on a scripted TV show. Notice all these arguments come from the Pentateuch. So writer Aaron Sorkin, with an agenda, ignores context and the entire biblical narrative. The reference to slavery in Exodus 21-7 is not like American Civil War era slavery. It's protecting a woman from poverty and exploitation and giving her work. The Sabbath laws were fulfilled in Christ, the Lord of the Sabbath. Footballs are made of cowhide, not pigskin. Google it. Leviticus 11 applied to ceremonial laws, and Jesus declared all foods clean, repeated by Peter and Paul. A sentence of death wasn't given for planting different crops or wearing two different materials. The Israelites were to reflect holiness in all practices practice in life as the chosen people of God. All the law points to Jesus Christ, who kept the law perfectly and lovingly gave his own life as an atoning sacrifice. Those who break God's law will still perish on the day of judgment, but those who believe in Jesus will be forgiven their sins, including the sin of homosexuality, still an abomination when we understand the text.